already August and I'm finally getting back on the bike after months off. And what better way to jump back into riding than to race Whistler EWS? We planned this trip back in February before life took a bit of a right turn, but even though I'm not ready for this at all, we hopped in the truck and made the 10 hour trek from North Idaho to Whistler. Today is practice day and I'm joining Nick from Van Can, Ryan from Lone Ranger, Jordan Boostmaster, Josh from Daily MTV, and Dangerous Dave as we scope out the trickier parts of the race course today. We're starting on a trail called Microclimate, which is stage one of the race and one of the trickier trails from what I've been told. But right off the bat, we had a little bit of freak drama happen. That's Ryan from Lone Ranger, and he's about to test out his helmet a little bit. Oh, Oh, right into Whoa. a... Right into a pad. Holy moly, man. Are you okay? I think so. So that's Whistler. <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah. No holes in the back. Wow, that was a... Uh, yeah, you pancaked that. That was full send. I think I got it all, too. He <laughs> had like death in the eyes stare. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to cut through and hit that big straight up boulder. Yeah, and your that's... front tire went in that pocket and just stopped. What was that? Boop. Wild. Let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good start. Yeah, you got that on camera, didn't you? Yeah, that's how you do it in Whistler, right? <laughs> Ryan was okay, but he did seem a little rattled after that nasty get off, and rightfully so. But we cruised down to the first part of the stage and made it to one of the main tricky sections that everyone seemed to be looking at, so we decided to do the same. Oh, it smells. That's a nice little, nice little, little hole right there. This steep section was a little weird because you could either take the inside line like this, but this spits you out onto a loose rock slab that'll just get eaten away from all the race traffic. Dang. Or you could take the high line like this. No. Which sets you up better for the corner, but you have to navigate some slick routes to get there. Okay, let's see. Get after it, Which one are you thinking? Uh, I, as I'm rolling up, I feel like I'm just gonna I'm make just gonna go for the it. middle or just the bad line. <laughs> I might default to bad line, yeah. I bobble a little bit right in the middle, but it turned out to be pretty simple to get over to the high line. Stop to take a peek at the section just after it too, which was a mistake because it got completely boxed in and for a lot longer than I really wanted to. Hold on, there's still people down here. I got stuck. <laughs> I got trapped. <laughs> I was like, please let me by. <laughs> Stage one was definitely a chaotic area, so it was nice to get done and move on where the crowds weren't as dense. We split up into two groups to practice stage two. Ryan, Jordan, and myself dropped in early to save some legs for the race tomorrow while the rest of the guys went to the top to practice the full stage. Stage two was really straightforward, so saving some legs seemed more important than practicing the entire stage. There was just one tiny drop we were told to look at at the bottom, which we did. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's all good. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Trail speed, like there wasn't anything weird to do. But once we got back to the village, it was time to break for some lunch. How's practice? Pretty good. Um, legs definitely felt the first climb, but um, dirt's really good. The roots are really slick. I'm pretty sure it's gonna dry out tomorrow a little bit. So the course is pretty fun. <laughs> I was actually just having a lot of fun riding the trails. It's uh, different from home. Are you ready for race day? No, but <laughs> you're gonna try to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just worried about my fitness because I haven't been on the bike much this year, but it's for the fun of it. What are you talking about? Construction in my shop? <laughs> that should be plenty of fun. Right. Well, I, honestly, building your shop has been a workout, so at least there's that. Like laying floor, I probably did 2,000 squats. I know. I remember you walking around the house with my butt. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
is what it is. It's fun. Glad to be here. Next was a quick gondola ride up to the top, then a short ride down to stage three, which consisted of the trails No Joke, Misfire, Delayed Fuse, and South Park. I didn't know it yet, but this was definitely going to be the most physically demanding of all the stages. And to me, probably the best riding of the race. Sarah will not be riding, no joke. Outside. Outside. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Damn. Letting the trail take me. Who got out of line there for a second? Oh man. My legs are burning. And I'm just doing practice. Challenges here, boys are like, yeah. And I was like, wait, you're not my friend. <laughs> Holy moly! Does anyone else have zero grip anywhere? Yeah, that was <laughs> that was like by far the, the hardest section that we've ridden today. Physical, slippery. Yeah. Had sunglasses on, couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, that was not confidence inspiring. I'm glad we've ridden that to know that it's like, yeah, if you're feeling it, coming into that. It'll dry out a little bit. And yeah. delay fuse will probably be dry. So that was a bit of an eye-opener for a few of us. The rain from the day before was lingering in this section quite a bit, making the roots and rocks way more slippery than they looked. But we're expecting it to dry up a bit more for the race tomorrow. And now we get to sample the longest transfer of the day, climbing out a blue flow trail. But again, thankfully Ryan, Jordan and I ducked out halfway up because it was still quite the hike out. But finally we made it up to the last stage for practice. We got there a little early though, so we had some time to kill. We're headed back over towards the village riding Duffman, World Cup Single Track, Ho Chi Minh, Longhorn, and then Monkey Hands. These trails are definitely less difficult than the last stage, but they require some smart line choices to keep from adding too much extra time. All right, stage five. Woo. Oh, hi right there. All right, what do we got? Okay, some rocks. Some rocks, some dirt. Please don't go off course. All right, I'm going down. Oh man, this has been a full day of practice. Tomorrow is going to be rough. I will say that. Yeah, so the practice for this race was honestly my first Whistler lap. That's kind of fun. But no, this has been awesome. These trails are amazing. It's been a treat. I know tomorrow's gonna be a slog though. Go outside maybe. Eh, it didn't matter. Uh, what's off here? Oh. Looking at what's the best line. I think it's to go low on the right. Low, okay. Pretty sure, because that was so confusing. I know, yeah, I, I can see that. Split up. Is that just a big roll up there? Oh, yeah, you climb up and then you got a nice deep roll. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the way. Just the easy, fast way? Yeah. That rock was either shiny or slick, I don't know. Get a little right. There we go. Woo! All right. Oh. <laughs> that's a little bit kind of heavy. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> I heard a crack and a hoot. I was like, oh. Yeah. There's actually quite a lot to learn from that because, like, you could do some really stupid lines if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> on the right. very last thing here where it's kind of like a rock. Yeah. Did you guys just go right over that? I went on the left side, but I think that's on the right. That's what I did. Yeah, I did I did the right and it's just like whoop. It's totally fine. Yeah. You dropped off it. Of it's it? a little taller, but yeah, I just dropped right off it. Okay. Poof. I know, because otherwise where I went at the left, there's all these sharp rocks, so I have to like clear them all. Yeah. That was cutesy. Yeah. 
Did that split? Yeah, I think we wanted it to split. Whew. They're gonna close off one of these two. I hope they leave that one open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was really. That was so weird. You're just. I did not like, like that. Yeah, I was like, Shh. Was awesome. I just stopped because I was just gonna fall over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too far over. So practice and my first day riding at Whistler is in the books. I won't lie, I'm a little alarmed with how tired I already am, but I'm definitely excited for the race tomorrow, and I'm confident I'll be able to at least slump my way to the finish. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see how my race ends up going tomorrow. Thanks for watching a brutal intro back to biking for me today. And until next time, keep that rubber side down. <laughs>